Hey everybody, welcome back to Spill the Greens. We've had a lot of questions about the hydroponic industry, hydroponic growing methods, and what the industry in general does. And I'm here today to help answer some of those. Eden Green Technology uses a vertical NFT system. So we take a typical nutrient film technique system in which the water is delivered at a very precise millimeter depth to allow both water and air to penetrate the root zone. And we turn that vertical, allowing us to grow at a higher plant density while keeping an air zone so that the plant can have a gas exchange. So that is a vertical nutrient film technique. Growing plants in soil is natural. It's the way plants have progressed throughout history, and it's a great method of growing, but it's not gonna solve all of our food problems. We're wasting food and land. When we can grow very good, high quality, nutritious food in a greenhouse right next to where people need it. And that is provided through a hydroponic method of growing. It allows us to grow outside of the soil, to let that land regenerate, let us work with nature and take all the good out of it without putting any bad into it. So what is my favorite type of hydroponic media? Short answer, all of them. We can use all the types of media to grow in our hydroponic system. This can be rock wool, which is sustainable and can be recycled and is a great inert media for plant growth. Or I can go with cocoa core made from coconut shells that we would not normally use for anything else or peat moss, which when sustainably mined is an outstanding organic hydroponic media. Or I can combine all these medias together, make a 40% cocoa core and 40% peat moss mix. It's fantastic for plants. You can modify your soilless media to meet the needs of any plant you want and grow fantastic hydroponic food. All of those different colors have different effects on your plants. And that spectrum control is what gives us the ability to control the way these plants grow. All those different light spectrums do lots of different things for lots of different plants. And knowing about your light spectrum just makes you better at bringing really good plants to your customers. There's an old proverb that says, the best fertilizer is the footsteps of the farmer. And that holds true whether you're in a field or in a greenhouse. And we try to implement that process at Eden Green Technology. Go out, look at your plants, see what's happening. If you see some yellowing, otherwise known as chlorosis, on your plant, that could mean a lot of different things. And so you need to be able to go back and look at everything you've done and how you've manipulated your nutrients, what the air was like, what the humidity was like, is there enough iron, is your pH right? Knowing how to look at those things and then adjust those things, what really empowers a grower to grow great plants. All plants need essentially the exact same chemical compounds arguably between 14 and 17 different nutrients that we're gonna put into the water or the soil to promote their growth. How you bring those nutrients to your plants doesn't really matter. As long as you're delivering the right thing at the right time, you're going to have healthy, tasty, nutritious lettuce. If there's anything else we can tell you about or answer for you, please leave some comments in the area below. We'll see you next time on Spill the Greens. Spill the Greens. What? Okay, you want to do, yeah, do you want to do a throw thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So we'll see you next time on Spill the Greens. Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time on Spill the Greens. We'll see you next time on Spill the Greens. Good. Yeah. Let's go.